Merry Christmas! Okay, well, maybe Christmas is still a ways away, but I wanted to let you know, public service announcement, three weekends, that's all you have. Between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's three weekends to do your shopping. If you're going to order from Amazon, I recommend doing it today. I wanted to show you some of the things that I got for my grandchildren. And, you know, a lot of people in their lives, you know, their aunts and uncles and cousins and, you know, even the, the parents will give them toys. There's certain toys. But for me, I feel like this year is the year of the activities. They're both in kindergarten, they're twins, and I want to make sure they have plenty of activities to do throughout this year. And so rather than giving them a toy, I thought it would be fun to give them some activities to do. And what better than a STEM activity? Here's a crystal kit. You can grow your own crystals within 24 hours and it helps them to explore science. So this is a crystal flower kit. Oh, I have too many gifts here. Well, they're all falling. The other thing I got was a really cool, fun project for them to do. It's a glow-in-the-dark shell kit. Here's another gift we got for the children. It's a do-it-yourself birdhouse kit. The kit includes four houses, so I'm planning to open this pack up so each child will get two houses, but you could split this up and make it for four. If you have four children, let me open this so you can see it. Look at everything that comes with. How fun. Little painting palette, some fun houses to put together, the glue, all the paints that you need. It has two painting kits, so this is easy enough to split into two gifts. Two houses, two paint sets. Boom. This will be fun for the children. Here we go. A do it yourself birdhouse painting kit. That'll be fun. Put a little hanger on those and put it in the backyard. Oh, so cute. Here's another thing that I got. Now I got two of these because I wanted them each to have their own. It's a photo frame. It comes with 120 assorted mosaic pieces. But it'll keep them busy for a very long time and it'll be creative and they'll have fun doing it together. They can put a picture of themselves in there and put it on their nightstand. How fun is this? A fun craft. And I went ahead and picked up two of them because this is pretty hard to share doing something like this. So they will have two of them to work on together. Another thing that I got two of is called uh, stepping stones. Okay. So I got one stepping stone in the shape of a hedgehog and one in the shape of a ladybug. It's a ceramic stone, includes the uh, six different paints, also a paint brush. I think there is some sealer that you can buy. I didn't get the sealer. I'll let the mom do that. But there is a spray, an acrylic spray, that goes over the top of some of these things that make them outdoor worthy, where um, the weather will not affect the uh, painting that the children did. So that'll be a fun project. So here's the ladybug. And then here's the hedgehog. So cute. Cute little hedgehog. So that'll be fun for the children, too. Uh, paint these up and put them out in the garden where they play. Uh, they have a little uh, dirt pile there and they can grow, you know, flowers and whatnot. It'd be a fun little area for them to put their own little stepping stones in the garden. Okay, what else? This is a wind chime. It is make your own wind chime. It comes with five different pots of paint and its own brush and so they can set up on the kitchen counter, paint themselves a beautiful chime and hang it outside their window. Again, these can be sprayed so that it's more permanent, but I thought that would be a fun activity for one of the children. And now this is a magnetic mini tile art. They can paint their beautiful artwork, put a tile on it, it can uh, put the tile on a magnet, 
put in the refrigerator. They can, they can give them as gifts. It's a fun art project for them to do. And I thought that this would be a fun afternoon activity for them. Magnetic mini art tiles. Now you know how much I love to give the children books. And I always try to get them a book for different holidays. And so for the little girl, I got, it's called the Santa's Lost Reindeer. It's beautifully illustrated by Rachel Hiltz and Ramesh Ram. Just a little bit challenging for their reading level, which is great because that will go on for the next, they will be able to use it for the next year or two. And it's beautifully illustrated and they'll enjoy this for bedtime reading. Now for the little boy, I got a silly book. So this one is funny, it's called Fritz the Farting Reindeer. <laughs> Isn't that silly? This is part of a collection of books. This is by Humor Heals Us. And here's some of the illustrations. And you can see that it is beautifully illustrated. The words will be challenging for their age, but it will last you know, a couple of years, this will be a fun book for them to keep in their library and enjoy for Christmas. So, Fritz the Farting Reindeer. This one is a little bit complicated. Let me give you, get a couple of different things. I have two books. Uh, let me see if I can find the other name because it hasn't come in yet, but it is coming. And I did... Um, it should be here in the morning. Uh, it's called The Little Book of Rock Painting. So here's a picture of it, The Little Book of Rock Painting. And then here is this book. So I'm going to give one book to one child and one to the other. And this is called Rock Painting for Kids. So many cute ideas, flowers, sandwiches, you know, like little hamburgers, different hearts, flowers, so many ideas that you can do with rocks. So I got this book as inspiration and the other book, and then I picked up two of these um, markers. These are acrylic they're very easy to use. They're like acrylic pens, 24 colors, water-based. They clean up easily enough. And then again, when you want to preserve your artwork, you just do a little spray on them and they will uh, save, uh, it will save the design. But you know, where we used to live, we lived in a 55 and over community. And there was a lady in our neighborhood, a couple ladies in our neighborhood that painted rocks as I think it was kind of a form of therapy or just a artistic creative release. And they had such, this one lady has a beautiful collection of rocks all around the flower edging of her yard. It was so beautiful. And so as a housewarming gift or a different party, uh, when we, Brucey and I would have a party, she would bring a painted rock for us and you, would not know how much joy that brought me. I, w I set these on different areas of the house and whenever I walked around the yard or we went out the front door, we would see this rock and it, it was just, it just made me happy. It was fun. And I thought this would really be fun for the children to paint some of these rocks. And then I got them a book so that they had some ideas to work off of. But these acrylic markers, perfect. They'll clean up easy to use on the rocks. Now for the rocks, I just got a bulk. You can just go to the front yard and get some rocks. We're in a subdivision, it's a little tougher. But I went ahead and got just a package of rocks. They're all pretty much a uh, handheld size so that their little hands can handle, uh, you know, wouldn't this make a cute penguin this size? And look at this one. This would be a pretty rainbow, like a cloud or a rainbow. I mean, every rock can bring inspiration for them. And uh, so I got a package of, I don't know how many rocks I got, maybe 30 rocks in here. 
So I'll just divide it between the two children, got them each their own paints and uh, the books they can share for um, the, the two books for inspiration and ideas on how to paint a rock and what kind of idea. Oh, you just look at the rock and you can be inspired. It can be a flower, it can be anything you want it to be, an animal. Here's another one. I mean, they could do Christmas themed with a snowman. Uh, anything goes with that. that. Their imagination will be the limit. So fun. So I have a big bulk pile of rocks that I bought, two packages of paintbrushes, and then a couple of books. The other book will be here in the morning, but I'll put a picture up so you can see it. That'll be a fun project for them. I think they'll really enjoy that. Oh, this one is fun. This one I'll be able to split. I, it, this one I bought as one, but I can split this again and make two gifts out of it. Now this is a wooden painting set. It comes with two uh, different uh, rhinestones, stickers, that are like a bedazzle kind of thing, but you can peel them off and stick them on after you paint the project. Now this one can be like a pirate booty. It can be, you know, some kind of a chest. Then the other one is a heart shape. Heart shape and it also has a mirror in it too. And they can paint this any color they want. It comes with Two different paint sets and two different glitters so this will be perfect to split up again and the cost is essentially split between the two children but it's a beautiful gift for them to be able to do together and uh, it'll be a fun activity for the afternoon here's another one that I got it's create your own window art has 12 suction cups, a glitter paint, four tubes of window paint, and an instruction booklet. So this will be a fun project for them. Create your own window art. It makes 20 different projects. It's a nice kit. I think they'll really enjoy this. Here's one that I got for my granddaughter. It's called Fun Times. You design your own baseball cap. So she really likes purple. She likes pink. So this is a purple ball cap. Wow, look at all of the art that comes with it. So these are all different sticker uh, sticker art that goes with like the dazzle kind of thing. So she can peel and stick these onto her baseball cap and design her own cap, make any kind of design she wants to. Has eight sheets of glitter gems and then it comes with this purple baseball cap which is velcro so it will fit her so she can make it to her size head and I think she'll like the purple. Okay, what else is next? Oh, this is really cool. Is now that they're getting old enough, they may or may not have a Christmas tree in their room. And whether they do or not, I have been giving them a personalized ornament and I wanted to continue that. And here's one that I got for the little boy. Isn't that so cute? And I kind of have his name blocked down here, but it's personalized and has the year. And so I'll link this below. It's so cute. It has primary colors it's on a jingle, jungle gym. So cute. They had so many different ones to pick from. Very hard to hard to choose one. A little uh, princess. I was going to say ballerina, but it's not a ballerina. It's a princess. And I thought this was adorable. It's cute little shoes. It's adorable. Little hanger again. I think that she will just love this. So cute. It's pearlized, has a little bit of a uh, Glitter along the trim of the dress has bedazzled necklace and the um, scepter. And then also on the crown has a little bit of the glitter and a bedazzle jewel. So sweet. We're going to the Nutcracker and we try to go, Brucey and I go every year. 
And now that uh, the kids are a little bit older, we're going to the Nutcracker with my daughter and actually two of the daughters, my other daughter is, lives in another state. So, uh, so we'll, bring, we'll have two of my daughters and a granddaughter at the Nutcracker. And so the boys will do something boyish and the girls will, will probably go to tea and then the Nutcracker. And so this is something that Brucey bought for our little grandson. And it is really cute. It's a little excavator. It's like a remote control type of uh, excavator. And of course, he is uh, really into the RC uh, things. And so this will be fun for him. This is designed for six and up. This right here is something I will give to my granddaughter at our tea. We're going to have a tea and then we're going to the Nutcracker. And of course, then she will have her own Nutcracker to doll to bring to the play. And he actually is working. And I just love the sparkle and the glitter and it's just so cute. So this is the king. Now there's one more thing that I wanted to show you. This is just super fun. I don't think I have any paper. Oh, I do have the back of this envelope I can show you. This is called a handwriting line roller stamp. Uh, it comes with extra, how nice, extra um, ink. This is what it looks like on the inside. Say so it's the... You know, when you're learning to write and so she, my daughter can use just regular piece of paper or flip over uh, one of the used papers or something and then the children can practice their letters. So you don't have to buy the paper anymore, you can just use any paper you want to create your own lined paper for the children and it just goes on so easy look at that so easy we're not really doing anything for the adults we're just getting things for children and um we'll probably do a family gift but mainly i wanted to show you these things because there's only three weeks until three weekends for Christmas uh, deliveries uh, or shopping and um, I wanted to show you what we have purchased for the children and maybe it'll give you some good ideas because it's fun to keep them busy with activities learning things uh, learning new things and keeps their imagination going and you know all the different creative uh, outlets in painting and creating beautiful artwork so i think the children will have fun but this will be a fun stocking stuffer for my daughter i'm gonna get these all wrapped up and ready for under the tree i want to thank you for being here today i really appreciate your time i hope you have a beautiful day and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video i hope to start decorating here before long and um Looking forward to seeing all of the beautiful treasures to, you know, that you bring out year after year. But first, I'm going to go ahead and write down what I got the children, and I'm going to wrap these up and uh, put some labels on them. So, thank you for being here.
have really been enjoying this snack wagon and I really need to replenish it so I'm going to go ahead and I have some extra things to add to this so I'll go ahead and fill this up. I may even use it through Christmas because you know the red it's so cute. The kids love it and they know exactly where to go when they want a snack. Mm -hmm. 